At this time, I'm very pleased and honored to welcome in the flesh a brother, a comrade from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, from the Unity Labour Party, our sister party. And help me welcome my brothers and sisters to bring some fraternal greetings, Senator Honorable Carlos James from the Unity Labour Party, the Assistant General Secretary of the Unity Labour Party. Thank you very much, Comrade Chair. My dear good friend and brother, Moses John Batiste, let me acknowledge your political leader, political leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Philip J. Pierre. First, Deputy Leader Ernest Hilaire. And in fact, Ernest picked me up at the airport this morning. And when I came in dressed in my red, everyone at the airport, they was asked, what is happening in St. Lucia today? I said, it's labor time. Let me acknowledge your second deputy political leader, Sean Edward. Our good comrades, former chairman, Sir Julian, and my good comrade, Walcott, who I am hearing today for the first time has roots in Canawan in St. Vincent. Allow me to also acknowledge the guest speaker, comrade sister Marcella Lybird of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party, who's here with us. Other parliamentarians and distinguished guests, the diplomatic corps, and importantly, Comrade Kenny. Our dear Comrade Kenny Anthony, former political leader, a regionalist, a champion of our social democratic movement. And a man who many has looked up to as one of the leaders of the region. Let us salute him who is here with us today. Importantly, comrades, I am grateful for this opportunity to be here in St. Lucia and to address you at your, con your convention of delegates. I bring you greetings from your sister party, the Unity Labour Party of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I also bring you personal greetings from our political leader, Dr. Dion Ralph Gonzalez, another champion of regionalism. Again, it is a great to be Labour. There is something, comrades, that connects all sister parties within the region, and that word is labor. Save and except for the Jamaica Labor Party, which is really not a real Labor Party, but all of the Labor Parties, in particular in the OECS, the St. Lucia Labor Party, the Dominica Labor Party, the St. Kitts Nevis Labor Party, and the St. Unity Labor Party of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. One word that connects all of us is labor. And when you examine the construct politically of what labor represents, it represents people. And people, comrades, in the form of our social democratic movement, it has always been you, the people that are part of the nucleus of all of our political parties the poor and working class, the trade unions, the civic society. The most important, important element to any political party is the people, the rank and file, you, the working class, and the voters of the political party. And today, very briefly, my message to you 
is that no one man is bigger and greater than your political party. When I was told that the St. Lucia Labour Party lost the elections, I said, no. The SLP and Comrade Kenny didn't lose an election. The people of St. Lucia lost. Because they lost a good government. They lost a great leader. And they lost a very good political party. When you have a government that is more concerned about opening a racetrack than completing and opening a new hospital, then you're concerned. You know that is not the government for St. Lucians. When you have a government that says to the masses, if your house is destroyed, find the insurance to deal with that and not to help the poor and working class to rebuild and to reconstruct, then you know that is not the government for you, the people. And I say, in closing, comrades, this is your time to take ownership of your future. This is your time to unite and to rally. This is your time to rebuild your political party and to reconstruct. This is your time to rally behind your political leader Philip J. Pierre. St. Lucia, the St. Lucia Labour Party in power is not only important for St. Lucia, it is important for the region. A lot is happening, a lot of dark forces are lurking in the shadows. You've seen the work of the JLP in Jamaica. You've seen them in St. Kitts, and Comrade Chester Lyborn will tell you of that. And you've seen them in the Flambeau here in St. Lucia. We can't allow them to take over this region because the poor and the working class people of the region depends on a Labour government, a Labour party that will continue to deliver for you, the people. Comrades, I want to thank you and I extend best wishes to this convention of delegates. And I wish you all the best going forward. Forward with Labour. Forward with the St. Lucia Labour Party. Comrades, thank you. Let's hear it once again for the comrade from St. Vincent, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you very much.